I want you to stop everything you're doing right now and just focus on what I'm about to tell you. What I want you to do is I want you to look around you. Look around you and see what you've been blessed with having. Realize that people in third world countries don't even have plumbing and you have that. You are a king among those people. Now I want you to look around once more and ask yourself, in a month's time with our economy going as bad as it is, are you still going to be there? What you once treasured so much, so very precious, with television, video games, alcohol, drugs, whatever you precious, it's so precious to you, Next month, if the economy crashes like everything's pointing towards and your dollar becomes nothing but pennies or less, what will you do? Where will you be? The one thing I am assured of, beyond a doubt in my mind, is the fact that I'm going to heaven. But what about you? Do you continue in sinful nature? The wrath of God won't be light on the day of judgment. He is a righteous and powerful God. His mighty hand will not be cast away from your wickedness. When the world is coming down and all signs point to it's going to be hell on earth, the tribulation period is starting, you hear about Israel, you hear about our economy going down, you shouldn't going to be hearing about Russia invading Israel. This is all in Revelations, people. Yet you continue to sin. You continue to go out your daily lives and you continue to sin. Look at that pornography. Go and make an idol of that video game. Do what God hates in your life. And whenever that day of judgment comes and you say, Lord, Lord, did I not do your will in your name and cast out demons in your name? Think about this. Do unbelievers cast out demons? What will you be? What will you say whenever he says, I did not know you? It says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Yet whenever somebody like me tells you in your face, you are a sinner, you need to repent. Why is there not a turning away from sin? Yet you continue to live your lives in sin. God's mighty hand of wrath and His furious anger and rage against all those who are wicked will not be light on you on that day of judgment. I guarantee it. He is a just and awesome God. And His Furious anger against all those who are wicked and all of his enemies will not be quenched against you in the pits of hell. Repent is all he asks for. All you have to do is say, Father, please forgive me. I have sinned against you. I surrender my life to you because you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. He that believeth, who he that believes the word of the gospel, it says this, he who that who he who that believeth is not condemned. Those who believe in Jesus Christ dying for our sins is not condemned. But he who hath and believeth not is condemned already. You are already going to hell 
Unless, of course, there is a complete turning away from sin. Because you're on that day of judgment, and you believe you're a believer, and you say, Lord, Lord, haven't I done these things in your name? And then he tells you, get away from me. I knew you not. I don't know you. You will have no excuse. The day of judgment is real. The fear of God is upon me, and it is the beginning of wisdom. It's just the beginning. This economy going down is a part of the tribulation period. If not during it, it's right before it happens. Where will you be? Whenever Jesus comes. <sighs> know the true meaning of God fearing. Know it. Because once you're there, it's only the beginning of true knowledge. It's only the beginning of true wisdom. The fear of God. Look it up. Fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. I'm just at the beginning. But where's your fear in God? I don't want you to perish, neither does he. But if you don't repent and make a 100% change in your attitude and where you're going, that's enough to say that God never knew you. Because you purposely disobeyed him and turned away from him. It's turning away from all sin. Not just once, but a continuous turning away the gate is small and the road is narrow few walk that road few God's mighty and just judgment is Pure wrath is upon all of us who are wicked against Him. He loves you, but He hates your sin nature, and He will not keep the gates of hell from burning you alive forever if you do not repent and seek Him out. If you think you're a believer, it will be in your fruit. Don't try to prove it to anybody. God knows your heart. He knows you.